Hello, my moonflowers and Virgos out there. So, this is going to be a general reading for the sign of Virgo, whether you have Virgo in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and maybe you have a lot of planets in your sixth house. That could also apply here. Um, so this is going to be general. I am going to pull some cards for love, Virgo. However, it's going to depend on whatever the cards want to portray to you. I will deliver that message to you. In terms of timing, it's going to be about a month ahead, give or take, uh, from the time that you clicked on this video. Um, and a quick disclaimer that all my videos and tarot readings, they are for entertainment purposes only. So my advice is for you to take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind, Virgo. Okay, and also happy new moon in Libra. So there's some really lovely energies going on in the sky right now. So let's get straight into your reading, Virgo. Let's see what we have for you coming up in the month ahead, give or take, Virgo. Okay, so we had woodwives, adoptability. Someone around you, okay, I don't know why I'm getting this, um, is pregnant uh, or they had a baby recently, okay? So either one of those. So that might resonate for some of you guys. Um, and I'm seeing here that that is, that has kind of opened your eyes to some new truth. We have jeweled web, okay, we have connectivity. There's a need to connect more with your loved ones. Maybe that's something you've been focusing on more lately. We have Will o' the Wisp, Treasures Hidden in the Shadows. Okay, we will pull some cards later um, to figure out if there's any shadows that you need to work on, okay? In terms of, um, what is it, a shadow, shadow work. Oh, speaking of which, okay, we have the Fool's Embrace, Transmuting Pain. Okay, um, Virgo, so some of you guys, I'm seeing here, there's a little bit of healing to do when it comes to a mother figure in your life, um, or this could also mean that somebody around you um, is pregnant or they just had a child, or maybe this is you, Virgo. Some of you guys might even be thinking about getting preggers, um, pregnant. Jewel the web, okay, so I'm seeing here that for some reason, I'm seeing that some of you guys are seeing life differently or there's a need to see big picture for some reason. And also, there's something that you're not seeing. So I'm going to be pulling some cards later um, to get to that um, something that you might need to do some shadow work on that you might be missing. But um, let's start with the positive first. Um, let's start with the positive, okay? So let's pull some cards because um, I need more information here when it comes to these themes. Let's see what else comes up. What else do we have for my Virgos? Okay, we have the Five of Wands. Okay, yeah. We got some conflict with a feminine energy, uh, possibly a mother figure or someone who might be a bit older than you, uh, maybe not by much. And yeah, there's some conflict that you need to work out here. Okay, we have three of pentacles. So yeah, there's something, this conflict could have to do with your workplace environment. I'm actually seeing a lot of mercurial energy. So maybe you are a Virgo who has a Virgo stellium, multiple Virgo placements, or you work with a lot of people who have a lot of Virgo or Gemini in their astrology or sixth house energy. Um, okay, let's see what else we have. We have judgment, okay, uh, with shadow. Okay, so... Hmm. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. Okay, there is... Uh, I'm getting here, there is a masculine energy, okay? Likely that you might have worked with in the past, but I'm more so getting that this could be an ex, okay? That you had a bit of a falling out with. Um, hmm. I'm getting maybe for a good chunk of you guys, you are dating someone or you dated someone in the past who might have kind of left you in the cold or um, there's some inconsistent communication here. And a big reason for that, uh, they might not even realize it. You might not even realize it. Could be a third party situation or could be even, strangely enough, a maternal figure in their life who... I don't want to 
just outright say they don't like you, but they might have like said something to this person, an ex. This could even be a coworker around you who's causing drama with the five of wands um, and the three of pentacles, especially. There's something to do with money matters with a masculine energy, likely an ex, okay? That's strongly what I'm picking up where I'm getting that a third party either showed up or like told them something that was basically like, I don't think Virgo is good for you. Like that's pretty much what they told this person I'm getting. Or maybe a few people told this person, I don't think Virgo is good for you. I think Virgo needs to change this and that, blah, blah, blah. You know, critique after critique. Um, but with the three of pentacles, I'm getting there is room for negotiation here. Um, however, with the shadow work and the judgment, it's really going to depend big time on the way that you decide to go about this when it comes to this energy. Some of you guys, you attract a lot of jealousy. Some of you guys really take care of your physique, okay, or your health. There's a lot of jealousy. Some of you guys might even be models or influencers um, for your career. There might have been jealousy from your partner. Maybe even you work in the same field. Maybe they're also a model or influencer as well. There's some drama going on there. Um, and I'm also getting that, yeah, likely a third party. I'm getting a maternal figure or maybe even like an older sister or someone in their life. Maybe even it could be like their baby mama or like an ex that's basically talking in their ear um, jealous things, okay? Like telling them like, oh, you know, he or she is, I don't know what I'm hearing. Like maybe you were accused of, being in uh that relationship for the wrong reasons like maybe for financial reasons okay um but there's something you're not seeing here that's really going to change this whole dynamic especially for some reason when it comes to the direction that your life is going to go so hmm, okay let's pull some cards for that and see Ooh, okay this one yeah okay we got justice is with the new moon in libra so some of you guys, there's going to be justice for you guys. Um, I'm getting channeled from the universe to act fairly, okay? And this doesn't necessarily mean seeking out justice and revenge or anything like that. But I'm getting there's a need to act fairly towards yourself as well. Like if you've been, I'm getting some people pleasing Virgo, I'm not going to lie. Okay, this is um, meant for my shadow energy, shadow work that you might not be seeing is maybe some people pleasing here. Um, I don't know why that's what I'm getting. Libra energy, um, sometimes Libra is um, wonderful. Or maybe you might have Libra in your astrology, Virgo. But sometimes they have a tendency to forget their own needs. Um, so that might be something that you're working on. I'm seeing here maybe this person took advantage of that or they saw something that they could exploit. And so they decided, okay, I'm going to do that. And... But for some reason, I am getting that you you are very beautiful. You've got a lot of admirers. This could even indicate that there's a lot of people fighting over you, Virgo. And this isn't even worth it. There is room for negotiation with Three of Pentacles with uh, possibly this person from your past or maybe someone that you're just kind of um, inconsistent communication with right now. Oh my god, you can't write this. We got the Five of Wands twice. Five of Wands with the Unicorns and then we got Five of Wands again with the Stick Figures. So I'm getting here that... There's something to do with people wearing a false mask and like offering you advice under the guise of like, oh, we're just helping you. This is an intervention, okay? Um, this is what's best for you. But in reality, it's like hollow words, okay? It's just like, I'm also hearing sticks and stones. I don't know why. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but... Um, words can never hurt me so there's a there's a need to maybe even on a spiritual or subconscious level hold up a mirror okay to these people they might even mean well this could be someone in your life this could be someone who is sort of in between you and an ex or i'm getting for some reason like if you divorce someone or if you share children with a masculine energy this is maybe someone who is more so on their side like their side of the family or something like that um okay let's see what else we have okay we have the ace of pentacles so there's something really wonderful coming in in terms of your career or finances we have eight of cups that's going to allow you to leave 
whatever this drama is behind or at least distance yourself from it okay um let's try to get some more information okay on this love situation as well okay so what's going on here what's going on here what's going on please okay erotic bliss okay some of you guys there's someone new coming in with the ace of pentacles that could be what this indicates as well who is let me tell you virgo uh oh and then we have also got beyond words oh my gosh this person's gonna be like super attracted to you and this is more than i'm getting erotic attraction okay physical attraction this person i'm getting a new energy this might be someone you work with or someone who reaches out to you through social media is what i'm getting for a lot of you guys but someone who you know you have a lot in common with this person. Um, I'm getting that might be people, maybe the same hobbies, the same job. And there is someone new coming in who's going to be very stable, okay? Who's going to be more on your level, okay? Especially when it comes to like an ex that you're just trying to, I'm getting this image of like, you're trying to get away, you're trying to start new, but there's like this, energy that trails behind you maybe even like five different people who are like talking about you i don't know why that's what i'm seeing here virgo um there's some people who are talking some you know smack about you maybe jealous okay is what i'm getting maybe uh i don't know why I, for some reason i'm getting that they are accusing you of being shallow or being you know in relationships for the wrong reasons when that's not even true like they don't even know you okay um but there is a need i'm getting to i'm getting a need to maybe not like cut people out necessarily but recognize what is no longer serving you like after you talk to someone do you feel drained is this leading you to a better place in life or are they ultimately a negative influence this doesn't have to be people this could even be like an environment this could be maybe um, any kind of environment you know whether that's job or maybe even you know where you live maybe um, is no longer serving you or this could even be like just um, I don't know why I'm also hearing like um, things in your past just coming back to haunt you and you need to cut ties energetic ties i recommend maybe even doing like a cord cutting visualization ritual um where um well you can look that up on google um but it's definitely something you could do all you need is like scissors and some um string and um you know the ability to just like visualize um cutting energetic ties okay and some of you guys may want to burn some sage or palo santo only if you're comfortable with fire and you know it's safe um also i'm getting maybe if some of you guys have um selenite or black tourmaline or um black onyx okay that's gonna help as well evil eye jewelry i recommend that and also cleansing okay there's a need to i don't know why i'm getting this need to cleanse okay cleanse figuratively physically spiritually emotionally in order to move beyond whatever this conflict is and get into move into this new energy abundance new love okay for a lot of you guys i'm getting that you don't even expect it's just gonna kind of come out of nowhere and with this person i'm getting a strong earth energy so fellow earth sign taurus capricorn or even a virgo like you but i'm strongly getting um capricorn or taurus energy especially i'm getting a lot of taurus energy for some reason is um more right for you okay and i see that possibly coming through but you gotta let go of the old to allow in the new speaking of which um happy new moon and libra energy um you know it's rolling around in this video maybe there's a new moon happening for you in the future when you click on this video as well so that may apply so like comment subscribe share if this video resonated with you virgo and i do want to just announced that I will be doing personal readings again and I'll make that announcement public um, and offer all the options of the services that I have. So stay on the lookout for that Virgo and I will see you guys later. Love and light.